and welcome back here to our blind first playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. And we did a bunch of running around kind of side stuff last time. Oh, like, what is that? One of the cities we need to go to? Let's just check our map here. So much fun, you guys. So the tall neck is amazing. That was great. Um, we have other stuff to do. We have a corruption here. We have some campfires. The stuff kind of starts getting hard to see, you know, the forest for the trees. Um, we do have to go south here. We have another tall neck and... Another cauldron, all types of collectibles I want to play with, but I have a feeling um, we can get to that a little bit later. I also, I'm looking up here, we have a couple flowers leading to this area. I don't know, but one thing I do know is it's time for us to do an actual mission here. I thought about doing the quarry, but Blood on Stone I think is level 24 recommended. So that makes me think we should just go here straight to uh, Olin at the excavation site and let's progress this thing a little bit. So. Where are we at? How how far far are we? Let's um let's fast travel here. It's killing people all over the Sundom. I wouldn't right. have believed it if I hadn't seen it myself. The machines are crazy, they're oh. everywhere. I want to talk to the merchant first. I'm also wanting to pick up um some weapons eventually that do some of the cold damage that we haven't gotten. It looks like we need a trampler heart uh for the shadow bow and some other stuff, so we'll think about oh, that's that. That's nice. Glad I stopped for a bit. And it looks like we could get like one of the most basic slings that could also sling cold stuff. Um, uh, I've seen but I think we're okay for a minute. So let's just go out and head for a walk. Let's mark on our thing. I'm heading the wrong way. That's exactly what I was worried about. We're just going to head up the road here and we're going to try to make it to... I'm going to put a flag on that one. Here we are. Let's go. It's a beautiful day. We came out this way when we were heading to Lonesome Rock to uh, help out Nico Nicoa. Oh, that those the markers sometimes for your missions mess you up because they're just telling me where to go to get towards the mission. That makes sense. Now, what do we got out here? Grazers, right? And is that a long neck? Long leg. Lance horn. Yeah, we're good on them. I'm just going to kind of cruise past. And there was the place we had to assault, correct? Correct? No, no, that was, um, we had to go in and then we found out that the guys tried to kill us and they were like, ah, you're a you're here now. Oh, that's not good. Hold on. Those are... Snap Maws. These will keep. We can use medicine, though. Oh, you coming for me now? Why would you come up that way? I don't like it. Do we just run past him? I think we just run past him. I'm just making sure which direction I'm running past. And just go. Get out of here. Field of view, though, I can only see so much. Is that just a sawtooth? Got it. I think we need something from the saw, uh, Sawtooth also for one of the things I could purchase. We'll work on it. We're doing okay. Here they come. No, they don't. Stop it. Unless, yeah, unless it was a glint talk, I wasn't noticing. Look at that. Heading towards the old satellite dishes, is that what's up? What? The music really messed me up there. So funny. So we need to cross and head up and over. There's going to be a town here. Okay. Um, I don't know that I need to fight that thing. Or anything for that matter. At this exact moment. Save these for the trail. I don't... Because I don't want to wait too long to go do this Olin thing, because I have a feeling it's going to pull us all over the place. This is just like... Oh, question mark, yeah, oh, oh. 
Are these hunters or these assholes? Oh, those are good. Wait. Cultist priest. Why are they shooting at me? I know why. And, oh, was I using the wrong? No, I was using hunter arrows. That's fine. Oh. Oh. Bam. Gotcha. We need to use our tearing arrows, though. Yeah, come on. Where's your little buddy? Oh, there's your buddy. Oh. <laughs> Get out of here. That's okay. That was fun that they got into it with the other guys. Adjust my volume of hair. I think I'm rocking out there. I like to be able to hear everything in my headphones, though. Okay. Pick up our stuff, because I didn't plan on getting on that in on a, that fight, but I wasn't going to run away from it. And let's just amp ourselves up here. Do we have... We need more blaze. You know, if I see a bunch of people running around, maybe I'll make a point of picking up their blaze. All right. Sparker. Cultist priests. I mean, did I need to talk to them? Was I not allowed to just like totally toast that fool? Oh, who do we got here? A vendor. And, uh, oh, you know what? We have a couple uh things we should probably open and I think we have a couple um, skill points to put in too. Might as well do it up. Anything else interesting here? Probably just to sell stuff, right? Very good. Anything back here? No. Beautiful. Let's uh go with our skills first here. Strike from above. You know what? I haven't I haven't been able to do the silent strike or we want mountain repair. Machine repair, mount repair. See, I just haven't been using mounts as much. Maybe we need to later in the game. Like, I need to get on one to use it to take down bigger game. Um, I'm going to go with the silent drop for now. I like balanced aim. That's strike from below. And leader strike, what? Okay, okay, that's fine. Oh, sorry, one other thing. Our inventory, let's go to our boxes. Do I, I still haven't used up my resist or my shock traps. I don't know. Do we have to just sell some shock traps just to get them out? I can always Looks use good. These. And once again, though, what are, where are we trying to make it up to? Do we want to go hit this thing first if there isn't one over here? I want to get a save in before we uh, do a story thing, you know. Wait, I'm just trying to see. Okay, it's like outpost. More hunt. Oh, more, huh? All corrupted. Is this a whole corrupted zone? No. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just uh, let's just do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like, are they... This isn't an actual corrupted zone, though. These are just assholes. So they're gonna come and go all the time. Let's just get a save in if we can.
belt. Don't mind me. Oh, I see, I see. You looking? Who's Dead. looking? Who did this? You weird cultist bastards. Okay, you know what? We're here. Can we get a save on them? We did. And you know what? Let's um take care of that. Now these other guys here, should we just take care of them? I think we should. Let's use some fire. I'm ready. Gotta be. Where's the other one? Because that guy's toast. That's not him, is it? Where is he? Oh. There we go. He'll be toast, right? And what's up with the corruption? Watch your heart. All right. Oh, we'll take some health potions. Still need uh, fox bones and fish bones. Just grab our stuff and go. Fun. Well, why not? All right. Well, oh, wait. This whole place is full of cultists. Is that what's going on with the Olin thing? Just, let's just rock these fools. Over here! It's her! Oh, come on. Come on. Are you kidding? There's that one and you. Come on, it's her. Uh, oh, we're going to need to go get some blaze. I'll make a point of like stocking up on a bunch of that at some point. Or we might just find a bunch. It's not that big a deal. Enter the excavation site. We also have... There's an ancient vessel around here. And let's see what they're excavating and how this is all going down. Never know when I might need these. You never know. Like, right now? How do we get up? Wait, what? Oh, right here? But right next to it. Let's... Rich meat, Good pony meat, meat, health potions. Oh, they are setting us up for something. They think we're going to get into a fight, but you know what? I think we're, we should be strong enough for it. Let's look around and see any signals. Tons of plants, sure. Olin, you set us up. After all this, guys, here we go. Corruptor? Or something different. This is what you intend bring these ancient things back to life. Their power serves us. Machine demons from beneath the ground. It's a nightmare. Nightmares, yes. The worst dreams of our enemies come true. Yes, rise. Have we seen one of these before with the shield in the front? and Or is this something different? Mm. Pretty sharp there, dude. Oh, oh. So much for catching him alone. Right. These things will destroy us all. They will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were taken. Ah! Hurt too. Ah! My ah! Stop working. Search the area. We may have intruders. Forgive this intrusion, Aloy. Oh. 
You left me no choice. <sighs> Who is this? An interested party. Now, their focuses are disabled, but I don't know for how long. The rest is up to you. I recognize that Who voice. Is this? That's Lance Reddick. Reddick? Reddick? I know him. I, I saw one flash of his face somewhere, you know, on online somewhere to know that he I thought he was involved in the other in the next game. I didn't know he'd be in this one. So let's uh let's take a look. That's a corruptor. It's a corruptor. Uh weakness to fire. Um, you know, I think though. Let's tear him up. Let's find one to tear up. How many guys do we have here? I'm not a... Oh. Someone's mm -hmm. out there killing us! Look! Yep, well, well come get it. Because I'm not get, leaving this perch for a minute. Cool. Because why would I... The Nora girl lives. Kill her! No, you had your chance. Oh, okay. You know what? Screw it. Just don't set me on fire, bro. Let's let's look around this place. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? Can we? Oh my god. Just get out of here. Let's go back to these. What do we got? What do we got? You can see them. They can't see you. Oh, we see that for a minute. Oh, we could have used that one a second ago. Oh, where is he? Oh, you bastard. That's okay, we're just gonna work around this place. We're gonna be a little methodical. Oh. How do we hit this? This is fun though. Can I not? Oh, oh dude. Oh, dude. I can shoot him through it. Let's get some more fire on that one. Oh, corruption. I don't want the corruption. Is he still burning? Or is it, we're just trying to build it up. We didn't build it up all the way yet. Oh, you know what? Uh, we don't have enough on the sling. I wish I could figure out... There's a way to blow that up, or... You know, let's... Can we get up this thing without getting caught too much? Shoot at me, bro. Let's just keep an eye here. It is getting dark. What is that? That's our boy. I don't understand. What? Just come on, dude. All right, well, I'm trying to be like kind of methodical and play around with this. Just keep... I don't understand what, why they're attacking Olin in the middle of all this. Doesn't make any sense. And let's see here. What do we got, you?
How am I not? He can send them at me, but I can't send them at him, huh? Let's get him. Oh my god, he's shrunk. The AI plays around a little bit here, at least. They're not... There we go. Let's come across... There he is. Okay. Just guess it. This guy knows where I'm at, so let's let's just grab our remaining arrows. Corruptions. Can we do we have any of this? I'm getting messed up there. Oh, I got this stuff all over me. That's my problem. Corruption sucks. Okay. Now we are out of fire arrows. We have no more blaze. Um, I guess let's go with hard point. Where is this fool? Let's um track him. Tag it. There we go. There's a piece. Maybe the corruption piece we can get off of there. Come on. I felt that. Yep. You're toast, dude. Oh. Oh my god. I thought I was about to fall and die. Alright, well, let's go talk to Olin. Was it fancy? Was it amazing? Did we do like the best job ever? I don't think so. Easier but when I was a kid. Did we do good enough? Did we get by? I feel like we survived. Let's go around here and pick up our supplies. They better be giving us some blaze. Luminous. No, I is it lum no, I need a the other one. Damn it. It's a certain braiding I'm I'm looking for, you know. Is it crystal? Oh, there's our uh ancient vessel. Thank you. While we're at it here, what else we got going on? I'm a big fan now of those, uh, those tearing arrows. They're stronger, they're better. They're... Is that what it was? Well, that would have helped. Okay. I just couldn't figure out where they fell down from. Well, now we know, and in future uh, fights, we'll be able to do that. I, I'll go back, maybe. I know it wasn't as hard. I, I really made a mess of it back at the Hunter's thing. Um, but it was at the end of an episode, too, and I was getting a little frustrated because I'm like, this is like, I'm in quicksand. <laughs> All right, Olin, what's up, dude? I promise I'll tell you everything. I know you will. I know you will. Uh, the killer is the mysterious woman. First, uh, the killers. The Let's killers go through The killers who it. came for me at the Proving. Who are they? The Eclipse. Some kind of holy warriors. A cult of the Shadow Karja. Shadow Karja? Except they're not like any Karja I've known. They don't pray to the sun. They worship some kind of devil. Ah. I'm not interested in their superstitions. In the ground. Oh, it's not a superstition. Their devil is real. It has a name, a voice, the most terrible voice, and they do its bidding. I love it. The devil. How, I mean, let's follow you that thread. You say this devil, the Eclipse Worship, has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. A little Hades. on the nose. And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard just once when it saw you. Such a voice. A cold, awful jangle. It scrapes your bones, it hollows your guts. A metal sound, but like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge. Okay. And what did it say? System threat detected. Just three words. But in the voice of a devil. System threat detected. Uh, the eclipse. Let's go, mis 
I don't want to lose any, but let's go to Mysterious the Woman. The Eclipse were sent to kill me because I look like another woman. Older, maybe twice my age, short hair. Who is she? I don't know. My focus found her image once, in the ruins at Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. There we go. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door beside it, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. Aw. He's he doesn't know either, because his kids and wife and kid are taken too. What are these eclipse cultists after besides me? They never said. But given the Karja Civil War, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Odd and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. Helis. Helis. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Osram called him when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. <sighs> if only he'd died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. Well, we're the most dangerous woman alive. Time to judge you. Um, why were you recruited? Why ancient machines? Why are there. the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. I've fought that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today, they call Corruptors, but there are others, much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them buried in the ground, but after today, anything is possible. Sounds to me like they're raising an army. If so, the world will fall. And I helped dig the pit. Right, but why were you recruited? How did the Eclipse recruit you? I know they took your family hostage, but why you? I was a scrounger, a rummager in dark places, good at what I do. I suppose they knew I would serve them well as a scout. I had taken a delve near Maker's End. When I surfaced, they were waiting. I laughed when I saw the priest, but then he showed me Helis's encouragement. I didn't laugh after that. They gave me a focus to watch my every move. I followed orders. You had access to Meridian. Why didn't they get to Avad through you? Too much dirt under my nails for an audience with the one true Sun King. But whatever Ursa or Aaron told me, the Eclipse heard every word through my focus. That's why I couldn't warn you. If I tried, they would have killed my family. What about right now? That's off for a moment? Still? Okay, well, let's judge him, right? I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. How are we going to judge him? I won't beg for my life. No. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. There are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself. All right. Uh, redeem yourself. Let your life is forfeit. This is complicated. I don't know that it is complicated heart. Well, it's either this is complicated or redeem yourself. I'm going to say redeem yourself because yeah, it will take many good deeds to make up for the crimes you've committed. He's being manipulated You're too. You're sparing me after all I've done. Yes. Forge a new life, Olin. One of better make. Then the rest of my life will be lived in your debt. Go Let's to go the find place your where your family is being held and wait for me will make their lives the first ones you save. I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. How are we going to condemn some guy to death because he's trying to save his wife and kid? I mean, come on now. Seems a little messed up. A skill point. Maker's End, let's see here. A Aloy seeks to learn more about the the mysterious woman who looks like her among the crumbling ruins of an ancient city. So that, we have a couple. That's open quests. That's way up here. Maker's End. Yeah, we will... Wait. What is Maker's End? It's not that far. Uh, what else we got here going on? Collateral. Errand. Alloy begged Aloy not for his life, but for the life of his family. Held captive by the 
Eclipse as Leverage. That's level 20. What is our next actually main? They're saying level 14. Um, Where's that at? Oh. We've kind of been down there, have we not? But if we don't get them out the right way, are they going to die? Wait, now we actually have the Corrupted Zone showing? This doesn't make any sense to me for a minute. That's okay, though. Like, why wasn't it doing that before? Um, Where are we going from here? We are in this spot... We could run around and do some exploring. I gotta think about this for a minute, though. Let's make sure we're good here for a minute. Kind of just do another scan. And I say we get out of here. Um, the Maker's End might be the place to go. Level 14, I feel like we're... We're kind of making it there. Here's the Field of the Fallen. Hold on, hold on. Because we have Robbing the Rich still, and we also have Field of the Fallen. Let's go see what's going on. Is Aaron's quest... Is level 19. I say we go talk to him, though. And on that note, I'm just going to fast travel here. Nice. Uh, what are those? Broadheads, yes. I need a stamper heart, which are those big ones, right? All right, well, I'm going to mark this first. Erend has been a um, a priority for me in this. I th I think we've had a little bit of discussion, and uh, it seemed like we re she put him off. She was like, oh, I don't really have time for this. I'm doing... So but we have time for other things. And, like, Olin right there just t sent us in the right direction. Later. Like, without him, we wouldn't know what we know. I think it's getting light out. Oh. What are we getting there? Are they fighting? I think they're fighting Erend. Could be wrong. Let's see if we can get a save in here. Oh. Then he's in trouble. Nope. Watch for an opening, then take him down! Who else wants one? Here's a little something for ya! There we go, come on. Who else? What's in here? Coming at us. We can flank him! Go! I'm glad that's over with. Hell yeah. Thanks for the help. Oh, you're welcome, dude. I didn't realize you were right here, but that's okay. Let's pick up our stuff and then we'll talk to him. Come on over here and have a word. Oh, we're coming. Hold on, dude. I had plans. We were gonna get a save in. Saving these for the trail. I think Dawn is coming. Come on, what are you waiting for? Oh, shut up, dude. <laughs> What, you don't feel like talking? Oh, well, let's talk. Where are you? Hey, seriously, we need to talk. I'm over this. I'm over it. There he is. I know, we're coming, we're coming, dude. Weirdo. Seriously, we're gonna talk. Let's talk. I'm just picking up some health. Nice. All right. One more. I mean, we're using metal shards we're for our arrows later. now, too, so... All right, dude. What do you have to say? What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Oh, we're good. Let's uh, go. Don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? I think we are. Um, do I, what, do I need to worry about you? What? What happened to your sister? Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. 
She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. You know, maybe she thought... That, uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Aaron. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. Uh, so do I need to worry about you? Should we say that? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight at least. Don't get used to it. Uh, why did she leave? He said he doesn't know. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No. But it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new shadow card threat, I don't know. Yeah, but who gave her the message, like, and set her up? Why would the shadow card do this? Because they hate us. And Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They've been licking their wounds for two years, but... They finally found a way to get back at her. All right, well, let's go. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Sounds good, Aaron. And is Dawn going to hit us, like, right now? That would be beautiful. His gear looks good. We have the same bow. I love it. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? Uh, no ammo. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Uh, I was going to, but... Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cleft. Very good. For potions and everything else. I'm looking at the cactus, though. Everything just looks beautiful here. This game is a really well-made game. Should we be sneaking? Almost there. Oh, it's like water off on the rocks. I was seeing something. Hey, this is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I I'm need sure to find it can. The bastards that did this. These look like drag marks, arrows scattered there. Those bloodstains are not the kind that would pull around a corpse. They look like smears. So she's not dead. Or no, they, they found her body. New. Never fired. Okay. Was it her body? <laughs> if her face is so unrecognizable. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line. As if blood dripped off the edge of something. Like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait, are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Ah. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. Right, somebody want to make it look like that. Oh, I love it. Good stuff. Uh, can we... Where's the tracks? Highlight track, there we go. Well, let's pick up some plants on our way through there. Thank you. By the way, which way are we kind of going here? Interesting, interesting. Then up here, we also... we That's our, um, our other robbing the rich one. I love it. This is great. Oh, we're headed towards some uh, 
a building or a part of a city. He's following I'll us now. That away. He can just wait while we pick up herbs along the route. Campfire discovered. We're going to walk right past it. I don't think we need a save in right now. Oh, we can see the damn cart, huh? Okay. Ah, yes. We've been seeing these I things up on the hill. Ursa dead. Why fake an ambush? There's more to this. And we're gonna figure it out. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Come on, Erend. You are a priority for me right now. <laughs> I don't... We're not... We are level 24, so I mean... Technically... I, I need something that does uh, cold damage. I need to per pick up and go make that a priority. But I feel like if we keep exploring, I'll find the stuff that I can purchase something with it. Or I'm not using the bow I currently have, so maybe I purchase a one just to have it. So, ancient ruins discovered. Oh, there's our ancient vessel, too. Thank you. Oh, we might as well, yeah, check it out. Odyssey. All right. Shaving contraption. I'm just kind of looking here. Hearing sounds like there was somebody behind me. Oh, this is the thing that attracts them. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? It's a girl. She's on. Let's go. You made a big mistake. Get him. Oh, oh, you don't like it. Let's get that one. You're out. You're out. Who else wants some here? I'm gonna pick up your stuff. We got some health. Where are you? You're up there? I'm just gonna get a, an angle on you, fool. This place is cool looking, though. What the hell is going on here? How can I make it around and get to him? Oh, let's pick up anything we find. Uh-oh. What's that? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Oh, okay. Let's uh, get into this these. This is what you train! What do we got? What is it? Oh, Ravager. Okay. I gotta... Yeah, remember the slide does it. Oh. What is this? Ravager 2? Oh, we're gonna get you, dude. Get out of here. Oh, I'm trying to heal. Oh my god. Drink a potion. Just keep... Oh, get in there.
I'm freaking out here. There's other things we could be doing differently. Oh, you know what? Take potion. Got out of here. Take some of this. This is stupid, guys. It's stupid. They keep jumping on me and I can't do anything about it. Let's see, we got one here. That didn't make any sense. God damn it. Oh, we're out, we're out, we're out. I'm on the wrong weapon here. There's... There's one. This guy is stupid, uh... stunned, but I can't get close to him. There we go. And we reached level 25. We didn't have any fire arrows to start that entire fight, and I'm just messing around. Asaram, so. not Whatever. Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. As usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have oh. to know what really happened. I'm on it. Oh, was there a big weapon there we could have picked up too? That's funny. All right, we do have our skills up. We should probably check on that in a moment. Let's pick up everything. That was uh, that was kind what of intense. What are those leather straps? Armor straps, cut with a knife, and a rock with blood on it. Okay. Um. I hear you. We're gonna those come rocks, over there. They're shattered. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. So there were big... Or was that... Oh, that was the Ravager Cannon. You can blow the Ravager Cannon off of him. And then you can pick it up and use it against all the other guys. Okay. Well, see, I'm learning, at least. That is funny. Let's, uh... Just get anything. I don't need fire kiln root, but... Anything else I'm seeing too much of. There's a damn fox. Alright, what else? Investigate the ambush site. I feel like we still are. Oh, up there. Okay. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. Let's examine it. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. And what else do we have? More. So much blood. So much blood. Rocks. These look like vanguard weapons. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. Oh, that music is like, is there more coming? All right, Aaron. Things didn't go well for your uh, sister. So did they know the people? Or were they like stunned somehow with a weapon? Like they were surprised and didn't fight back, or they knew the people and they thought they were friends. This is Ursus' helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? It feels like it's just a torture me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It 
fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. Mm. I yep. think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only going to move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Let's keep going. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursus' face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, Ooh. someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Awesome. Meet me back there when you can. I love, I really like the, the actor who's playing him. Oh, we're going to go meet you when we can. Let's see. What's the next mission? We still have our skill points. I'll put those in in a minute. I'm just waiting for this to play out. Into the Borderlands. Level 15. Wait, is... Is it just me or... Does it seem like it's... Is that an easier level mission than what was before? Uh, meet Erend at the Palace of the Sun. Oh, that's so cool. So cool, guys. But that's where the actual palace is, huh? So we come in. I hadn't made... I was wondering... Where the king was. Okay, well, because I was like looking... There's something going on with this. There's Is that a ritual or some place? What's right next to us, though? Is there anything we want to go check out while we're here? I think... Let's um, try to find this metal flower and maybe get a vantage point. And then we can head back over here and talk to Erend. Let's see, where are we at? Sounds good. Sounds good to me. I mean, I'm talking to myself, but... Let's go get our save in over here. Now, what is that? I would think there'd actually be more stuff here, but I kind of feel like we've run around decently, haven't we? Ancient debris. Hold on. Ancient debris. Container. Oh, right outside. Okay. You know what? Maybe, maybe we just go for this... Uh, I'll find a use for you. We'll find a save on the way. They did say there are glint hawks in the area, so I have to be careful of that. Ancient sculpture, bracelets, yeah, just not a, uh, like... Okay, okay. Um... I think we'll see the flower. I gotta look for actual flowers, I gotta remember that, because things grow around them not just going to be something sticking out. Ancient debris container. Dare we? I'm lost. Where to go? Dust feels like it's under my skin. Sure, lady. Confused. Did we just... Oh, it's right there. Okay. Lots of ancient debris, which is just stuff to sell, but not like the, the vessel. Not an ancient vessel. Got it. All right. We need to find this flower. I don't know if it's up top here. Stocking oh, look... Up? Look at that tall neck in the distance. That's awesome. Flowers gotta just be up here, right? Just ahead. Let's just go look.
We might need the bones. Looks good. Or the fatty meat so we can make potions. There we are. There's the flower. All right, Mark Two. Oh, that's our first of the second set. A not not a haiku size. It's in the uh, in the middle here. So, the moon's reflected on the river a few feet away. A lantern shines in the night near the third watch. On the sand, egrets sleep peacefully curled together. Behind the boat, I hear the splash of jumping fish. I'm just going to take a little look here. So is this uh, Colorado River? Is that where we're at? I don't know. Confused. Look at that. Where's that taking us for the map? That's all water over here. Yeah, so I'm going to skip on the Vantage for a moment, but it's that's the Vantage right there, isn't it? That's so cool. Because I think we're gonna we're gonna have to do some running around. I'm not gonna hop the water there. Let's look at our map again. Take our marker off. Ooh, you know what? I don't see myself getting down that way yet. We'll we'll do some more exploring later. Let's just head back to which one here? Ah, right, let's go to this one. Let's go to this campfire. Yes, the machines grow more dangerous. But what do you want the Sun King to do about it? We have other priorities. Hmm. Wonderful. Right, so, you know what? What do you have as a vendor? You know, I think there's a guy here somewhere that sells uh, parts that we might be able to finally get kind of the bow I'm after. So let's go talk to a vendor here um, and see if I can get what I need. So, you know what? I will jump ahead unless there's something interesting going on. Although, you know what? Wait. Oh. We're just going to kind of have a look as we go here. Because I did not come to the city during the light the first in the daytime the first time, so I mean I'm sure we'll come back another time, but it's still good here. That is where we're headed, huh? To go meet Aaron. Also, Nikoa should be somewhere. What's up? Kind of love it. It's crazy. Check out these wares, they say. Words to live by. There we go. We got a couple vendors here. Let me see what I can uh, do. Okay, I found a trampler heart here for 780. Totally grabbing it. Um, can't remember if we need for something else either, but trampler heart was definitely on the list. All right, now I can pick up the shadow war bow, which has uh, electric or, or shock and all these different things. So we're totally grabbing that. Very rare. Equip. Which slot? We're going with uh, this one, right? Because there we go. Now we have two different bows. Let's make some uh, tutorial war bow. We have a bunch of those tutorials to do if we want to. Here. Just to knock them out. But You know what? Also, do they sell some blaze here? We might as well. And then we'll, we'll pick up a bunch of it for free later. All right, it's a little expensive, but just to have it so that we can kind of do our stuff here. I think we are good. Let's uh, let's do it up. There we go. I perfect. We're good on everything now. We have corruption. Um, and we have that, and then we have freeze arrow. Craft pouch upgrade available, but I don't think it is yet. Let's just uh, check our crafting. Oh, we do have some. Alright, so, uh, Warbow Quiver. Upgrade 1, upgrade 2. Thank you. Hunter Bow Quiver. I don't even know, are we using the Hunter Bow anymore? And Tripcaster Ammo. There, that was all worth it, was it not? We still need to get our potions pouch and some other stuff up there. But it looks like then we can make uh, some more of the stuff. Let's just... Oh my god, 60? I love it. And at least 20s on these. This is getting rid of some of our assets, too, because... I was going crazy.
All right. Now, just for fun, I just want to look in my inventory. We are at 73 of 120, so we didn't use a ton because obviously we have stacks and stacks of stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh, modifications I need to do something about. Okay, I kept all the good stuff. Um, I'm going to have to go through and kind of remodify that too, I think. Also, while we're at it here, let's do this balanced aim. Finally, where we can actually aim from these ropes if we're on top of them, because there might be good positions there. We're getting good. And we're getting there, guys. So let's uh, hop back onto our quest. We are going there. Love it. I think we uh, we kind of head through. Oh, here. I'm just kind of cruising through. We got some nice music starting to kick in. And, you know, I'm going to go get that box first, too. I haven't really completely explored this place, have we? I mean, it's... Oh, nice. Kind of all mixes together a little bit. You know, it's like coming into... Oh, I can't go up this stairway. Okay. All right, Shard Gambler's box, though. We should uh, open our boxes in a moment. Let's see, what do we have here? Some lore, though? The Liberation. A lengthy scroll of parchment stamped with wax seals. The Liberation of Meridian. An official account as scribed by the Reckoners of the Sun Priests and marked with the emblems of truth by exacting Varan, who witnessed these events. In the 21st year of the 13th Sun King Jaran's reign, the twilight time of his madness, the Sun King's own favored heir was put to death. The radiant Cataman's crime was to, man, to demand an end to his father's acts of bloodshed, and his sacrifice set that end in motion. Jaran's second heir, the radiant Avad, fled Meridian at dusk with his honor guard. Soldiers loyal to him over the Sun King. All night they traveled northwards, knowing that come the dawn they would be branded as traitors and marked for death. So it was that when Jaran made that proclamation, they had already traveled far, and in time they did reach the edge of the Sundom and crossed into Asaram territory. For Avad was canny and planned to negotiate terms with the Asaram. He knew he had an ally among them, Ursa, a fierce Asaram warrior with whom Avad had a long and unusual history. Two years earlier, Ursa had been brought to Meridian as a captive, destined for sacrifice, but she survived the Sun King, killing two Kestrels by her own hand. Oh, is she a spy? She, I, I, weird. Uh, thus did she earn the honor of being made a palace slave, and in this role came to know Prince Avad. A rare friendship was formed, and Avad conspired to free his friend, who returned at once to Asram, to the Asram homeland. Now desperate for allies, Avad sought out the Asram he had helped to free. Ursa had ties to the warlords and freebooters who resisted the Red Raids. With Ursa's might and Avad's keen strategy, they could raise a war band and move to overthrow Jaran. And as a rightful heir to the throne of the sun, Avad hoped to inspire many of his people to rebel, so sparing Meridian from a drawn-out war. It's so good we're reading this right now. Was this here the whole time? Because this is so relevant to what we're about to uh, go deal with with Erend. After months of preparation, Avad and his allies crossed the border and marched on Meridian. As word of their advance spread, many Karja soldiers fled back to the city, laid down their arms, or even joined the Liberators. Yet wise Avad knew that Jaran's faithful would defend Meridian to the last man, even sacrificing the lives of its citizens if it would hold the holy city against siege. He found Kestrels and city guard already set in on the walls, ready to to face arrow and shot, but Avad's Asaram allies had brought new weapons never seen beneath the sun, thundering cannons, strong as machines. Avad permitted them to fire their salvos on the outer walls, bringing many defenders down with great carnage. As the smoke cleared, the liberators attacked in three groups. One scaled the walls beneath the Temple of the Sun, another took to the aqueducts of the palace, while the main force overcame the barricaded city gates with cannon fire. These were the final blasts fired at the holy city, as Avad forbade any further destruction. In the streets, too many scenes of brutality and chaos played out to recount. Among the terrible miasma of blood and smoke, the Sun King's slave pits were opened and hundreds spilled out, desperate to escape. Many of Jaran's supporters seized their chance to flee with this flood of unfortunates. The day had turned, and seeing his forces much reduced, the Sun King Jaran ordered his trusted Kestrels take Itamen, his sole remaining heir from the city. Helis, 
Terror of the sun cleaved a path through Meridian from east to west, striking down all in his way, ally and foe alike. The savagery of Helis and his kestrels could not be matched, and so it was with Idamen, his mother, the Dowager Queen Nasadi, and the High Sun Priest Bahavas escaped. Avad confronted Jaran in his solarium. He had hoped his father would answer for his crimes honorably, but seeing this could not be so, with great anguish he struck him down. As the murder of a true Sun King is an unthinkable act and surely would plunge the world into shadow, Jaran's death proved that the Sun had renounced his legitimacy. Yes, Sun had turned to shadow on the throne of Meridian, and it was Avad's light that drove the shadow out to the west, where it remains to this day. So was the cycle of things corrected in this first year of the reign of the 14th king, the Radiant Avad. Well, that's pretty awesome. Uh, maybe that wasn't there until, like, we had already done this mission. Oh, hello. 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 I believe we are heading straight out this way. Oh, the music, guys. What's up, y'all? So pretty, man. Good. Now what? Yep. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for details. This is awesome. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Osaram gets special treatment. I'm not here to and intrigue you. <laughs> look at these guys though, the, the dressing, the colors, look at that outfit. What's up, guys? I love it. It's unacceptable. Yeah, well, we're, we're kind of badass. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. The music. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Oh. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Oh, oh, we're stuck. <laughs> I saw some reading there. Oh, that's beautiful. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I... I Checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only Badass. know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Oh, hey. Are we about to become a queen? Marad. Mm -hmm. Let me discuss Maybe not. it with I don't privately. know. Just saying. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. Uh, you and Ursa. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. <laughs> Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes but Ursa has a way of making her people see reason so you see I need her back at my side and quickly I'm just happy she's alive possibly who is Durval exactly to understand Durval you must first understand my father 
He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuram. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. In the Sun Ring. Wow. I just, I think it's so cool how, like, this guy seems like a really good dude, totally reasonable, but everybody else, like, just had to go through, like, the darkness that was his father. So it's like, who are the good guys? Who are the bad guys? Do good guys become bad guys? Bad. It's not, there aren't, there aren't the lines that way. It's shades of gray, and I really love it. So why kidnap Ursa, though? So why would Durval go to so much trouble and to, to hide kidnap it. Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. Well, it's his own people then coming here and sparing these people who who kidnapped his wife and child and killed them. And now he's like, let's go, let's kill them all. And they're like, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to be nice. We're going to become friends with these people. So I get it. He's just lost it. Like, I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. Oh, there's a lot here, though. Uh, becoming Shadow King. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Huh. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Awesome. Uh, your palace here. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. All right. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Ooh. Ooh. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asuram clans and the Claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asuram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. Revenge. I mean, I guess he's been poisoned by it, but I mean, wouldn't you too if your wife and child were like killed in the sun ring? What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. All right. Um, well, we are out. Let's go do I it. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. Nice. So, uh, go to Pitchcliff. I want to see where that is. Oh, we have all types of... We got. We have reading there, we got reading there. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm just looking. Pitchcliff. Where is Pitchcliff? 
There's Maker's End. Oh, way up here. Go to Pitchcliff. Ah, uh, it's not too far. But you know what? I think we have a whole bunch of other stuff to do over here. All right, let's come back. Um, okay, I want to read that. I want to read this. I want to explore the palace, and I want to push forward, and we're going to do it all in the next episode.